All right. Um, so obviously we stopped. Uh, now we need to continue on with what we're doing here. Um, all right. So I don't like the fact that this button is way down here at the bottom and there's all this space. So I'm going to go into my parent uh, column and I'm going to change my main axis alignment. Um, I'm probably going to do this. Yeah. So I jumped that up there, but now I'm going to set the padding because it's too close. I'm going to do 75 and now it's down a little bit. And then we'll change this to submit for reference. Okay. We got all that taken care of. That's, that's wonderful. So now we need to set our actions. All right. So first we need to do this button. Um, we're going to set the action for uploading media. And we are going to set it to, it's in here somewhere. I probably just skimmed right past it. Where is it at? Oh, where is it? I know I'm looking right at it. Up, oh, yep, I am looking right at it. So upload media. And I want to choose upload video, uh, photo video. Oh, darn, okay. Authentication hasn't been configured yet. Shoot. All right, give me just a second. I got to fix that. Uh, and what else is not working? Rules aren't deployed. Sorry, I should have already had this taken care of, but I forgot to do it. All right, maybe that'll... Uh, maybe that'll let me do it. I don't know. I don't think that's going to, I don't think that's going to be right. Hold on just a second. Let's see here. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. We're good to go. Um, so now that I've set the action to upload a photo video, I can choose if I want it to be just a photo, if I want it to be just a video or if I want it to be both, which I want it to be both so that I'm just using one button. Um, and then of course you can select either camera or gallery to do that. So, um, if you do one or the other, you can choose, you know, if you want to do gallery or camera. Um, but if you have both of them highlighted, then all you can select is either camera or gallery for that. All right, so that's all we need to do there with that button. Now we need to do our submit button over here. We need to add an action for that. Uh, for the time being, I'm not actually going to validate the form. Just gonna get rid of that for now. Whoops. Uh, I don't like working in here. I wanna go in here. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna go into database and create a new document. And we're gonna create the document and user post. And we're going to add a bunch of fields in here. All right. So I added all the fields that I have available within that collection. And now I need to set them uh, to uh, various reference points within that form that I just created and other places. So first I want to do my user reference that way. Um, the user that created the post is tied to the post. Uh, drop that down, go in here to unset, go to authenticated user. That would be the user that is creating the post, user reference, and click on that. Post content, and change specific value to uh, variable. We're going to go to widget state. And, and well, shoot. Keep forgetting to do little things in here, little minute stuff. Um, you don't have to do this, but it's easier for, for referencing when you're setting your action. So I'm going to change the type of text field that it is and just change it to a post content. Okay, back to the submit button. All right. Widget state post content. Uh, it's the field that I just changed over there. Uh, media upload. Since you chose that button in your form field to upload media, 
this becomes an option. If you had not set that button to upload media, then all you would have is specific value or variable. So we're going to select that, obviously, and then leave that alone. Uh, and then post likes, we're going to get rid of that because we don't need that right now. And then for created uh, time and date, we will do global properties and select current time. Okay, so that is taken care of. We are now creating a post. So that's pretty easy. Um, you notice that I did not set a navigate uh, action. That's because we don't have another page set up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and set up the news feed page. That way I can finish out my actions on that submit button. And yet again, I am going to cheat. Um, do news feed and we're going to use a list and we will use this list because it works the best for what we're trying to do here. Okay, now I'll go back to user post, change my submit button, or uh, I'm sorry, add to my submit button. I'm going to add an action, navigate to uh, news feed, and we are finished. There we go. So new post page is ready to rock and roll. Alrighty, so now we get to start calling up the, uh, the data and doing everything we need to do there. Um, so first things first, this is not a list. Um, this is an example, but it's not a list. It just kind of shows you what it can look like. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to convert that into a list. As noted in other videos, there are several ways to do this, but we are going to take the easiest route and we're going to drop a list view up in here. Put that at the very top into our social feed uh, box. And then we are going to grab this whole little section here. If I can get there. So I'm clicked on the column, which encompasses all this data in here. And I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it inside my list view. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one down here because there's, we don't need it anymore, obviously. All right. So now we've got that going on. Um, now I need to convert my list view to show the posts that are going to be coming in. So uh, go over to my widget tree and click on list view. And I'm going to query a collection and I'm going to query my user posts. It's going to be a list. Uh, I'm going to order by uh, create a date time, increasing, decreasing, eh. let's see how that does. All right. So we're going to do it that way for now and confirm. So now it's asking me, it's, well, it's letting me know I'm turning it into a list as we've gone over before. Okay. Now we're, now we're generating a list. So we're good to go here. And of course, well, no, I don't want to limit that. I do want to do infinite scroll and we'll do 15, which doesn't really matter for this because I won't be making 15 posts. All right. And let's see here. So let's go up here um, real quick and start working with some data up in here. Okay. <clears throat> Stand by for just a second, please. Okay. All right. Um, yep, just about out of time again. So let me cut out of here and let's start over.